Hey everyone, Mama Bear here, and welcome back to another video here on Lumber Tycoon 2. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a one by one automatic chop saw. It measures and chops for you, and it measures one by one units. Now, this device will only work or be useful if you have the power. And if you don't know what the power is, which most people do, but I'll explain it a little bit anyway. The power lets you fill any blueprint with just one unit of wood. So that's what that is. So this is pretty much for anyone who has the power. You can set it to measure out at like pretty much anything you want, but it's, it's mainly for people with power and it's just really useful when you want to build really quickly. So let's go ahead and show you what you need. Obviously you need a sawmill here. I like to use the biggest one, but you can use any one you want. And make sure it's set for one and one. You need anywhere from six to 10 straight conveyors. I like to use nine, as you can see. You'll need two of these funnel conveyors. You'll need one wire, one lever, one chop saw, and then you're gonna need some blueprints too as well. You'll need six of these smooth walls, the thin ones. You'll need two of these wedges and the size is, you can see, two by four by one. So you need two of those wedges. You need five of these small tiles. And then as we go along, I like to use large tiles just for measuring purposes and they get destroyed anyway. That's why you don't see them here. So let's jump right in and start building this bad boy. Okay, so you want this one unit off the ground. So to do that, you get a large floor, not tile, but a large floor. Figure out where you want it. You can always move it later, but it is kind of a hassle to move all the time. So just figure out where you want it. I'm just gonna put it, hmm, I think here's a good place. So then you wanna go ahead and put your sawmill on top of that. Okay, and then once you're done, just so it doesn't accidentally get filled, I mean, if it does, it's not a big deal, but just delete it, just so that doesn't happen. There, it's one unit off the ground, okay. Now go take your straight conveyors and I think about, let's try with six. Put six on. I'm gonna pause the video while I put these on because they can be a hassle and I'll see you back when I'm done. Okay guys, I'm back. So I put about, about let's see, no I did put on six conveyors here. So let's start with that. I'll show you what to do next. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your wedges and I will show you exactly how to place them. Okay, so you want it facing like this. So this one would go on the right side, right up against it, up against the saw. Okay, and then you grab your other one and do the same thing to the other side. Push T twice, one, two. It's ready for the other side. Bam, just like that. And then you get your smooth walls, the thin ones. Okay, so you're gonna take your smooth walls and place it right against the wedge, like so. have to have three smooth walls on each side so as you can see I'm gonna need to add another conveyor add the conveyor before you add that last smooth wall so go ahead and add it
Okay. Now you want this touching the edge, or coming close to the edge, so it's perfect. And you did it right. So put the other ones on the other side. you which way you want it facing. So just watch very carefully. I will zoom in so you know exactly how I placed it too. Okay, so as you can see, corner to corner. I'll kind of pause there so you can pause the video and really look. Okay, just like that. It's even. So you got the saw placed. Now you're gonna take the small tiles, place them like this, and then space them out. Okay, you guys, I just finished placing the small tiles, just like that. Okay. So, on to the next step, and that is place another straight conveyor just ever so slightly underneath the main system here, just slightly underneath, just enough so when the wood drops, it continues along, so just like that, and then just because. Now when this is all done, you can you can continue this and tweak it however you wish. You can make it go up into a truck, you can make it go up and around, you can do whatever you want after this part. Okay, so now, very important part here, take your funnel conveyor, make sure it's facing just the way I'm about to face it can be like this or like this. I like it like this, so just do it like this if you want. Okay? So I'm just going to place that there for now. Now this is where I'm going to need a large tile blueprint just to measure. Put it as close to the saw, mill, or the saw, the chop saw as you can. You might have to play around with it a little bit. Okay, so I got the blueprint placed pretty much of along here because you want it to measure out the right the correct way so once you got that just don't fill it just leave it there take your funnel conveyor make sure it's facing this way put it line it up and make sure there's enough room on the bottom for one unit of wood so like that's too far down one unit up like that place it make sure Yep. Okay, so then you can go ahead and destroy that blueprint. Very important, guys. This right here has got to be pointing down. If it's pointing up, the wood's not going to like go down and it's just going to be a mess. So make sure that's pointing down. And then just double check, make sure all your conveyors are pointing the same way. Yep, they are. Okay. And... We'll do a little test before we hook up the wire, just to make sure. Perfection. Okay. Grab your lever. I like to put it here, but you can place it wherever you want. It does not matter. Grab your wire. Okay, so place it on. Doesn't have to be perfect. Bin. Bam. And boom. There we go. Okay, so let's test her out and make sure the wire's connected. Yep. Okay, so this is how it should look when it's on. 
Little gap there, even a little bit. More gap there, and that's fine. It'll cut for you. Who cares? Now this is gonna work best on um, harder woods. So the harder the wood, the better. So like woods like oak, which I think is the softest wood, especially when it's laggy, it's not gonna work the best, and it might chop pieces really teeny tiny. Some people get frustrated when it does that, but the way I think of it as is, you know, it still cuts for you, and you don't have to chop. So like, who cares? That's how I feel. So. Let's go ahead and test out our new chop saw. Some people also put a wire in here too, just to stop it from like, I just don't know why. Some people just do it. Okay, so I like to have, this is what I have the second funnel for. I like to have it to feed my wood in. Whoops, I'm pushing the wrong button here. Nope, I had it right the first time, you guys. Why didn't I? Okay, not doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, yep, same way. Okay. Again, double check. Make sure the X is to one and the Y is to one. You want to have it one by one. Check. Okay, just checking everything over. Now let's go ahead and test it. I have a piece of wood somewhere around here. Okay, let's go ahead and you guys can see how this works. It's so it's so helpful, you guys. And again, it's mainly for people who have the power. If you're just really trying to get your building done, it's just such a lifesaver. I like to do this in my private servers because there's less lag and it works so much better. So, yeah, let's watch this. It's gonna be so awesome. Here it comes. Okay guys, we're about to see it. There we go. There's one. There's two. Okay guys, it's working. So there you have it. That's how you build an automatic one by one unit chop saw. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video there. I hope you liked the video and if you are watching, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.